heard great things about TikTok shop, so we are giving it a go. <laughs> and I am sharing my cookbook called The Weeknight Mediterranean Kitchen. I wrote this cookbook five years ago. And when I wrote it, I really wanted to introduce Mediterranean flavors to the everyday cook or to the home cook that wants to kind of dive into different spices and flavors and recipes. And they wanted to learn like how to do that. And when I wrote this book, I really wanted to make it approachable for the everyday uh, home cook. And I, I really believe I did that. So there's a lot of classic recipes. There's a lot of like pantry kind of staple recipes and also a whole section of different spices and I talk about what does it taste like here's the recipes that are in it if you don't have the spice you can use this instead so I really break it down for you but um, I am so proud of this book let me show you what it looks like on the inside so here is the beautiful cookbook. I took every photo in this cookbook. So every recipe has its own photo and the chapters are broken down by like courses. So there's appetizers or meze, there's main dishes, uh, salads, vegetables, sauces, like dips that you can add, you know, classes like hummus, I'll show you. And a little um, section for like cocktails and some sweet treats. Oh, there's me. So the next page is when I start talking about your pantry and I talk about all of the um, main components like citrus and herbs and lentils and then I go into the spices and I talk about what recipes have what spice, what does that spice taste like? Oh, you don't have the spice, we'll try this instead. And I always tell people if you have never tried any of these flavors before, pick one that sounds good to you and try it on something that you're familiar with. Like if you want to try something like, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think, like za'atar, put it on some chicken and see what it tastes like. Oh yeah, here. So I have za'atar and I even have like a little recipe if you want to make it because za'atar is a blend of different things. There's dried oregano, dried thyme and sesame seeds and sumac and you can mix your own which I do often and here's a recipe and then a bunch of recipes that you can put in it. So I'll just quickly thumb through it, but there's some appetizers and mezzi. Oh my gosh, these are so good. They're like little phyllo rolls. I have like a baked feta. I did this before it was trending, just saying. <laughs> um, mussels. Uh, I did some quick pickled veggies. These are so delicious on a mezzi platter. And then the main meal. Oh, this was probably one of my most popular recipes. It's a one pot chicken with orzo and olives. If you are looking to dive into like one pot Mediterranean cooking, try this recipe. You're going to love it. And then, oh, grill, those are really good. This is also one of the top recipes. This is my everyday chicken shawarma. I am telling you, when you make this marinade, bottle it, put it on everything. I put it on lamb, on fish, on vegetables, on chicken. It's such a versatile recipe. It's really delicious. And then that um, is a green tahini sauce. So it's a tahini sauce with lots of fresh herbs and it's just absolutely delicious. And then we go into soups. I mean, how pretty is that? And salads. And then there is, oh, look at that beautiful salad, I love it. And then there's like a vegetarian chapter. So this was a play off of um, stuffed grape leaves. Instead of rolling them, I kind of made like a little unstuffed version. And then I did lentil falafel. This is really good. It's like a baked orzo with tomatoes. Anyway, so lots of beautiful, colorful, spicy, flavorful recipes. This is on sale. I will send you a signed copy to you. And I always appreciate your support.